you for staying with us this far. And now let's look at some issues in aviation. The House of Representatives Aviation Committee um, has ordered the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority, NCAA, to stop the issuance of Air Operator Certificate AOC to a particular airline, <laughs> NG Eagle, hmm. after the airline had almost completed the process of being registered. <laughs> so the NCAA is an independent body, as recommended by ICAO, and supposed to be apolitical. Hmm. Okay, now the risk is that safety and security of the sector is being compromised due to political interference. Well, to look at that with us this morning, we have with us in the studio Mr. Olumide Omwayo, Head Research and Corporate Travel, Zenith Travel and Consult, and he's also the Assistant Secretary General of the Aviation Roundtable. Good morning, Mr. Omwayo. Good morning, Ben. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, what, what is all this about? What's wrong with issuing a license to a new carrier? Uh, well, and I just need is, to correct, uh, uh, correct uh, what you said, uh, yeah. that uh, the, and the Nigerian Eagles was almost, it's about completing the process. They have completed the process. They what have. Is, yes, what is left now is for the DG to sign the document and allow them to start operation. Okay. The document is right on the table of the GGNCA, and that is what we are waiting for. They've gone through the five, they through the five processes of getting the AOC, which is we, we, we have gone through the demonstration. They've done the, the, the demonstration, the certifications that the, the level they are now, and for the, the, the DG, to, DG to sign. What is the problem? Well, um, for me, uh, I think the problem right now is uh, it has to do with uh, what we've heard concerning the House of Rep asking uh, the, the NCA to hold on to the certificate and not release okay. it for uh, Did the House give any particular reason for asking for this day of action? Yeah, they said um, so the liability is owed. That the, 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 a union wrote a petition to them. That's how they, that was what they said. The union wrote a petition to them, asking them to stop the issuance of the AOC based on uh, amount, uh, uh, money owed to the uh, federal agencies within the industry. Within the industry. But, uh, maybe is there a background that people don't know about uh, NGE? Thank you. Well, uh, the, this is the background. Uh, uh, NG, NG is owned by Amcon. Amcon, Amcon let's, let's take it this way. Amcon possessed Arik Air 2017 to save depositors' funds. And at that time, Arik had issues. So they had to step in. The way they were, their operations were already going, going aground. They could not operate again. So they had to step in 2017 and took over Arik and Aero. Mm -hmm. And uh, with uh, Virgin, Virgin Nitrate, Virgin also the third airline under this table of Amcon. Now, they took, they took these assets and now leased back these assets for, to Arik to start operation. And they've been operating, till, operating from then till now. Mm -hmm. Now, in, I mean, during this period now, they, they've, they've virtually paid NC about six billion naira from services op operated, paid, uh, I'm sorry, fund six billion, NCA five billion, and NAMA 1.8 billion. So they, 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 they stepped in, kept the airline, kept the airline so that they could save staff and, uh, and, and workers of the airline. And that, that's what they did. Now they have come to say, okay, they are repossessing the asset in a new name, starting with the, with, with, with the new name, which, which is now the NG Eagles. The, the three aircraft are on ground for the past eight, um, eight, uh, eight, eight months, going through this process of certification, and they've gotten to the last stage, where they're supposed to sign now. And we're, we're hearing this resolution from the, uh, from the House of Rep to the NC. And, and like, like you said, that's, that is not right. Is that no, legal? Sorry, sorry I'm, I'm a bit confused. Okay. So um, Amcon took over Arik and... Aero, you Aero, said? yes. Okay. Virgin so, Nigeria before then. Okay. So is it those two who are now metamorphosing into NG Eagle? No, just Arik. Is... Just Arik. So NG Eagle is former Arik. Oh, former Arik, yes. Yeah, but Arik is still flying. Arik is still flying, yeah. But they have not said Arik is now NG Eagles. But because assets being used are from the uh, from the from Arik, which has always been the mother mm -hmm. people are, are, are equating that that it's the Arik that's engine that they're two, they're two different bodies 
NG is a new airline from Amcom. Okay. Okay, okay. So the, but uh, Arik is still going to be operating. Well, that's for Amcom to tell us if Arik will still be operating or not. Okay. But now, you mentioned three aircraft. Three aircraft, yes. That's for NG Eagle. For NG Eagle, Because yes. Arik has a lot of aircraft. I yes, think. maybe in the past. <laughs> or maybe in the past, okay. Maybe in the past. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> The, the, one of mm. the concerns on my own mind, so uh, from all that you have said, the position of the House of Representatives and everything, what for you, are, what for you is the issue? How significant is the issue being raised by the House of Reps? You see, for me, um, I, I think when, when, it, when it comes to the issue of uh, safety and the issues of uh, the uh, AOC, it's, uh, it's a safety issue and it is, it is, there's not a lot of non-interference is, is the game and is the rule. And that should not, we should not see the House of Representatives coming in to stop the regulator who's supposed to be independent from issuing the AOC to NG Eagles. And, that's, and our position is, why is the, uh, the House of Rep coming in at this stage? It has taken a process of, 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 for some years now. They've gone through the process of pre-application, application stage, documentation, inspection, Payment. demonstration, certification. And now when they are, when they are ready and you're you, you are just for them to sign and a petition from a union, not even from the unions, one of the union petition and you're asking them. What they've just, rather than ask a, the, them to stop the what they would have done was to pass a resolution in the House, mandating NC to get all Money's old agencies, uh, old agencies from, 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 from all airlines. Are they inclusive? But not to stop the issues of AOC. That is, that is not within their brief. Now, my my um, concern is because, I mean, you know as well as I do that the House of Representatives has an oversight on, you know, very many, all the agencies of government. So yeah. if the House of Representatives picks an issue, uh, is, is, do you think it's out of place to give them at least the benefit of the doubt? Especially because, just as you said, it came from a petition of a major stakeholder yeah. in the airline uh, industry, which, yeah. is an, which is one of the unions. Yes. Like I said, that what they could have done was to pass a resolution to the NCE, requiring NCE to get to, to recover all government funds owed by airlines and our ARIC. So you think there is more to, to yeah, it? No, you know, that, that, that's, that's, that's the part of the resolution to NCE to recover all funds. But you cannot ask NCE to stop the position of AOC. It's a different position entirely. It's a period of safety, it's a safety issue. And it's not, it's not allowed, it's not accepted by the international well, community. What's the far-reaching implication of that? Well, what I see here is if uh, NCA buckles to, 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 to this uh, process for the House of Rep, um, well, first and foremost, they, they, have, they have joined in violating the rights of Nigerian Eagle. The international community is watching an ICAO. We remember, we have, what, 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 in the past, we had problems with safety. We have gone, to, we have gone so well now. We are now a category one country. We have met all the uh, ICAO rules and regulations, safety, safety requirement, and, you know, and we've been able over the years to retain and even sustain it. Now, if, if, if it is proving that we, there's, there's interference in the running of the regulator, then probably we'll begin to get sanctions, we might be downgraded. We might, I pray not, we might be downgraded and we might have sanctions from, from, from ICAO. Once again, what is the connection between Arik Air and NG Eagle? Well, they are, they are all companies under Amcom. Let's put it that way. Hmm. So, because this all company. seems it seems to have everything to do with Arik. Am I correct? Well, I, 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 yes. The, the, the resolution of the house was based on uh, based on Arik. Yes. Yeah. So I mean, so they are both companies owned by Amcon. Yes. One, one, but one they're two, two companies. different companies. Two companies, yes, owned by, owned, owned by Amcon. I remember Amcon belongs to the government. Well, I'm trying to wrap my head around this, and I'm not, uh, things are not adding up for me. Okay. Things are not adding up at all. Maybe the House of Rep member. Will so, have. how is ICAO likely to react to all of this? Well, um, I think the, 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 everybody's waiting for the NC, want, want to see what they, they want to do and uh, the position they're going to take. But I think the most appropriate position for them is to sign that AOC and release it to the Nigerian Eagle for them to operate. Uh, we cannot uh, stop. Uh, 
a process uh, that's, that that's coming conc concluded, concluded mm. and um, coming from the regulator, which is more, more has to do more with safety to, to, and you have somebody interfering, um, particular from interference from outside, stopping mm. the safety process, how, which is not how, how significant is the impact on safety for the industry? Well, um, what, what you see now is that um, if this is allowed, then somebody can get up tomorrow and um, uh, who has not met with the safety uh, compliance and checklist of the industry, run to the House of Rep, and the House of Rep will tell the AOC, uh, the uh, NC to, to issue, issue that airline. And AOC, yeah. that's the implication. Yeah. So, but, and and, and man have an, an issue with, uh, with, with, with respect to safety tomorrow, and the NCA grants that airline, and the House of Rep will, will, will pass a resolution asking them not to grant the airline. Hmm. And that's why we say anything that has to do with safety, do not interfere. Let the regulator who takes the responsibility, who, are, who have been doing well, who, have, who has kept us, who has taken us away from the dark days, mm. let them remain what, uh, and continue to do what they do best. Mm. Now, you, mm. you've already referenced uh, you know, um, uh, issues, how this might affect our, our ranking internationally. Mm. But in talking about, uh, maybe you may want to you know, expatiate a little further on that, talking about uh, the general perception of Nigeria's um, airline industry, how far-reaching is the international repercussion, not just with ICAO? Well, see, well, exactly. Now, now you said the, uh, the perception. Now, it goes down to the business part of it. It goes down to the insurance companies. Now, when they see such things happen, they see that you are not, your, your regulator is not independent, that your policies are being, can, 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 be, can be changed by just a resolution from maybe five, ten people, then the cost of insurance goes up because you cannot be relied upon, yeah. then how do you uh, expect an investor to walk into a place whereby tomorrow the policy can be changed in the middle of the field? Mm. Now, if it was a foreign investor, now these are Nigerians, if it was a foreign investor who has, who has complied and met it with the whole process and just always waiting for the certification, after we, this process is not, a, it's not a year, it can take about two years, but a lot of money resources, then you now come and last minute and say, so, uh, the resolution says you should not start. How would the investor feel? Do you think the investor would not go back and tell other people, and you see, you get some investors. And what we lack most in that industry today is investors. Mm -hmm. We are looking for investors outside the country, but it, it's a cost. It's a it's a, it's a high cost um, industry. Mm -hmm. do, do you think the House of Representatives has the full picture? Well, um, I, I I doubt. I doubt if they have if they have full picture. I I I, I was I was at that sitting. It was last week. It was on Wednesday, and what we went for there was for the grant handling companies again. The NCA approved a rate for the Grand Andley Company. The same committee stopped that process and called for a public hearing. We were seated. For the this time around, the Grand Andley were, 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 were around. The other airlines, uh, uh, airline uh, uh, um, operators were, were there. The foreign airlines, everybody was seated. And look, look at the agenda. It started from prayer, the chairman's speech. After the chairman's speech, we were waiting for each player to make their presentation, and uh, but before we go get into adjournment, then the next thing, the chairman uh, said that they have agreed to adjourn, a uh, 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 member said aye, and he adjourned. We start discussing the issue of the day, then the next thing they wanted to see the DGNCA and MD Farm, who were seated, and the representative, and uh, we were waiting, as I thinking we're going to come back in for the for discussion, and that, and, and going back to that, thinking we're going to come back in, let me, let, me, let me finish this one, thinking we're going to come back, then we didn't come, come back in, then the next thing was the press release, after the, uh, that night, saying that, um, asking the, uh, the NCA to stop the issuance of AOC to, 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 to NG Ego, which was not, an, which was not part of the agenda for the day. Mm. It was not there. Well, well, how I has, have the agenda here. How has Amcon reacted to this? Well, uh, um, I don't know. I think it's, it, Amcon can't speak for themselves. I, 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 cannot say, I cannot say for none. But I've not seen, I've not seen or uh, read anything from Amcon okay. at this moment. So how then do you expect ICAO to react to this? Well, I, we, we see it's, we, 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 it, it's, it's, not, it's not yet a bad case. Okay. Oh, it's not yet a bad case, really. But what we just are expecting... It can still be salvaged. Uh, yes, it can still be salvaged. What we just expect the, the, the DGNC to do is... You, this is a company, a new company that has three aircrafts on ground that has the potential of generating employment, income for the industry over the years, and also help in reducing fears and increasing, fre increasing frequencies across the board. Mm -hmm. So, I, I can't for now, we'll probably just be waiting and watching, wait, uh, watching and see how 
it pans out. But I just hope the DGNC will not violate the rights of the Nigerian Negroes. So what, what, if, what, what do you expect the NCAA to do now, being that that's... Um, that document is on the table of the DGNC. should please append this signature. Irrespective of what the position of the House of Representatives exactly. is? Because all, but they, they can pass, and like I said, they should pass a resolution to the NCA, asking them to recoup all funds owed by airlines, yeah. and not one airline, owed by airlines. Okay. Alex is not the only one owing. Okay. So do you see, but you know that, I mean, in the issue of Arik has been quite popular in recent times. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> you know, so. But do you see a litigation coming if things don't pan out quickly? The, the, the litigation I, uh, we've been expecting that be, uh, should be between the owners of Arik Airlines and Amcon. Because there's always been that problem how it was collected from them, that they, they, they were not winning uh, all the amounts, uh, the figure uh, accrued and uh, being uh, published and bandied around. So and, uh, that, was kind of, that, was, that, was, that was that was the legal application with the legal thing we were tangled, we were waiting for, not um, debt owed to the agencies. If, 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 the, if the debt was, was affecting NCA, if, it was, if, if NGA was owing them, they would not have allowed them to go through that, the, the process Pass to it and only ready for for for, 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 it, for it to be signed. So, so it, it, I think it's beyond the depth, uh, beyond the depth. And I think what, what we are looking at is is, is, is looking at a, a, a executive interference now this time around. I think what is happening is probably to stop NG. If you stop NG, maybe the national carrier can come up. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Help me understand. Um, Sorry. Um. <laughs> Maybe that's the riddle you've been trying to, 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 to look for. Well, we know that um, the logo for the national carrier was launched and everything, but uh, we don't see anything happening regarding a national carrier. Well, except it, you have privileged information. It's still on board. It's still on board. It's still in Hoven. Are there any aircraft on the ground that Not look yet. like they're going to be the national carrier? Not yet. But mm. still, we are promised that by, by, by the first quarter of 2022. It, it, it sounds to me like there is... Um, mm. well, this There's is more to this than meets the yeah, eye. Yeah, because there, it, it sounds to me there is a lot of... Um, a I lot remember, of, um, Amcom is owned by government. Mm. So you can see maybe, maybe what I'm looking at is the two government arms now. Okay. Let, let's, quickly, with, let's quickly take... And using NCA. Yeah, Mr. Benga Olowo is uh, also joined us, and I think you already uh, oh, mentioned his name the other time. President, okay. Aviation Safety Roundtable Initiative and CEO of Saber Nigeria. Thanks for joining us this morning, uh, Mr. Benga Olowo. Can you hear me? Uh, please speak up if you can, or um, unmute your Hello. mic. I think I did already. Right okay. Here. All right. You're welcome to the conversation. I mean, you've been listening, so uh, you want to give us some opening because um, while uh, Mr. Wayo has been, you know, doing all of the work, um, we're still trying to wrap our heads around, you know. I'm still a bit confused. Yeah, because the only thing people <laughs> want to do is to fly safely. What's going on? Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Uh, uh, uh. You see, I, I don't know why all issues in this country always becomes an emergency because we don't plan well. And we don't plan well, we are then planning accidents. So it is better to plan very well before we do anything at all. The issue we're discussing right now, right now, my take is that as much as I appreciate the concern of our Congress in trying to come into this matter, I would think that it is not necessary now because primary over, over, oversight function on any country CAA, any country at all, CAA, the primary oversight responsibility lies in the CAA. Therefore, no matter what political statement, no matter what issues that are ongoing, must not prejudice NCAA from doing its rightful job. I want to get an AOC to fly an airline. Are there international set down procedures to do it? Yes. Am I meeting those criteria? Yes. If that is the case, 
I must not be unduly hindered from getting my AOC. And we have a competent CAA that has been investigated again and again by ICAO that they know what they are doing. So I, I think asking them not to issue AOC to anybody at all by Congress is, a, is an interloper. When that, I mean, when, when the AOC is issued and there are other issues that the Congress has to intervene, then the oversight function may come. But for now, undue political interference in civil aviation activity, it's not the best for this country. This not. Mr. Olo, how can you be sure that it is political interference? Uh, the House of Representatives will tell you we're just doing our job. We got, uh, uh, um, uh, and we have oversight functions to perform, and we got some people who sent in a, a protest of sorts. So how can you be sure it's a political interference? Okay, I guess the, the, um, Network has uh, maybe he got a call or something, and then the the network froze on him. But um, uh, in in the, Mr. Umayo, I, I guess we're we're coming close to that time where we can call it a morning. But um, going forward, what are the recommendations you would make? You would want to make to Amcon, who is the owner of this NG Eagle, to NCAA, who is the regulator, and to the House of Representatives. Basically, uh, what, uh, for the House of Rep, I think um, there's a time to look towards and look at the things, some of the things they, they, they have been uh, uh, doing within, within that committee. Uh, they, they, they are going beyond their brief. Uh, uh, you cannot ask the regulator to stop the issues of AOC. Either can you ask the regulator to issue an AOC to any organization. It's not within their brief. So, so they should try as much as possible to limit those... Uh, uh, the, 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 themselves to, to, to things that, that as within their purview and within their power. I thought that if there was an issue like this, they would have first called for a public hear, hearing, ask people out. if they have done even what you have done today, they would not have issued that order. And I think that order was in error. And if you continue to, if you continue to progress in error, then we might, we might arm the industry and put the NCA in, uh, in, in a bad light. What do you expect AMCON to do? Well, uh, AMCON is an, is, is an agency of the government. And I'm sure they also they know they're fighting the government, <laughs> the colleague in power, uh, they, and, and they're, they're also seen as a competitor. So let me just leave it at that. Amcon knows how to deal with the problem. And NCAA. And for NCAA, the rule is sacrosanct. Remain. Do you've, you've done well with the safety. Yeah. Do your job and don't, don't don't be afraid. Do you surmise that there's an ulterior motive somewhere on the part of the House of Reps? <laughs> Please. <laughs> that, that, as they say, no, that's a leading question. <laughs> okay. All right, then. We have to let okay. him go now, so. All right, then, Mr. Mwayo. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Your head of research and corporate travel, <laughs> Zenith travel and consult, and assistant secretary general, aviation safety round table, who was with us in our studio in Lagos. And we had for a brief period only, Mr. Bingo Lowo, president, aviation safety round table initiative. Thank you very much, gentlemen for coming to talk about this problem with us this morning. Sunrise will be right back in a moment with the home stretch. Remain with us.